start recording again. So, you now have got Jagan on your team. He has calmed down the the orderly. Um, Winner walks up to you and says, um, I don't know if you have a, a plan, but I think the best thing is to, to deal with the wall first and then maybe talk to uh, getting, getting uh, this is tracking down the head administrator's office. I know that she's kind of in the middle, but um, she says, Good, thank you. I think I know where to start looking, but I don't think you'll like it. The thing growing at the end of the hall. Well, there was a door there once. If you dispose of what's there now, the asylum's entry hall is just beyond. Lady be with you. Yeah. I'll tell him well, that. I'm sorry I can't tell you. Let's more check it out. On, but I know we can't stay here. We need a way out. All things considered, you seem capable enough. If you can find oh. some way for us to escape, some rope that does not lead straight into that terrible fog, I'll see that the royal accusers reward you well. Please, you have to help us. Okay. All right, let's go toward that cloth. So as you you go towards, excuse me. Every time I see the uh, whatever the old captain's picture from like a tiny version, I see the little plume. I think he's like a dragonborn or something. Re real quick, real quick, I got a question for you. Dire rats, they're pretty big, right? Yeah. Dog. Um, dog, small dog, medium dog. Okay, this is this is not the my favorite idea, but I'm going to do this real quick because I feel it would be within character, as nothing should be wasted. You remember when we fought those two dire rats in this room over here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go collect both of those, okay. and I'm going to take them to our cleric. And I'm going to ask him to purify food and drink on them. Okay. And then I will take them to wherever they're preparing their food and let them know what happened and just tell them that I don't like it, that I know they won't like it, but I know it's safe to eat and they need whatever they can get. Just don't tell uh, anyone what it's made of. You, you're going to have to roll a diplomacy check for that against. I will make diplomacy. I will do that. I will have the cleric come with me when I do it, though. Yeah, I'll let him. I'll let him aid you, but that's what they're rolling to not eat that. <laughs> well, they beat it. You beat it because it's the cleric will give you. Well, let me roll. Yes. Beat it. Beat it. Um. So he has. Can he aid? You can't aid on diplomacy. No, you can't aid. So you beat it. You beat it. You're right. So that adds another day of food. There you go. Right. Nice. Okay. Um. I'm telling you, Flex Lord's gonna have a good reputation around here. So you <laughs> You walk up to <laughs> the door, and you see, let me see what area I'm at, I'm sorry. I kind of did things backwards. You, this hall in just beyond, dingy curtain, but the wall here suffers from some sort of otherworldly um, parasite. A mass of stringy yellow fungus stretches across the stone <coughs> blocks. As his heart bulges and blinks, a watery eye can be seen blinking around the sides of a wagon. Does anyone see that? Yeah. You hear as you walk up to it, which is here in the B8 area, and you hear it start to gurgle. And words can be heard. What are you? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two knowledge checks on this one, just to see if either one is fitting for whatever the hell this might be. Religion. You know, 
I mean, technically, technically, I guess um, this one would also fit. The flesh lord doesn't know, but not, maybe roll for the uh, the priest. Yeah. Um, yeah. Am I rolling anything in particular? Religion, knowledge. Oh yeah. He oh knows, nice. He knows that this is a haunt. The door is haunted. Hmm. Can he exercise it? Um, that would be a roaming exorcist. Uh, which we can make him there another time but he says that he says we can he says we can destroy it with that roll he says we can destroy it but what it do we might, need to do but we can he says we can destroy it but it might come back it has to be exercised well we can at least get it out of our way for now yes. yeah will that prevent us from coming back this way he says we might have to destroy it again well, if we can do it once, we could do it twice. What uh? What would what would be the um? What are the domains for something like this? Like, what would it be? Uh, like, what kind of gods would work? What would work against this? What would be the? What would be the? What would, what what gods would see this as an enemy? He says, I guess. He, I guess. He says even his god. He says Farazel will will see this as an enemy. Well, if we destroy it and you draw your symbol on its on the wall, would that not help? He says, "I don't." Or does your God not? Or does your God not help you here? He says, mm. "He says for, he says the Lady of Grace always walks with me." But he replies and says, "I don't know. I've never dealt with something like this. I've only heard about I've only heard about things like this. This is my first time seeing it." Well, how do we destroy it? Do we just Beat he the says, hell out of it. He says, "You just attack it." All right, I'm gonna go for it, and I smile a little bit as I grip my table up. I've been looking forward to hitting something again. All right, I'm right in the unblinking eye. I'm gonna try to hit it. Wow! Ooh, I... You attack. Is that's that? A, that's that's a crit. Crit, yeah. <laughs> roll, roll to confirm. Roll to confirm. That wow. Is not that's a, that's roll, a great confirm. Roll, roll it again. Wait, wait, wait. Roll it again. Wait, no, I, wait, no stop. I, I ruined it. That was not a crit the first time. I realized that I forgot the D, because you've got to put the stupid B in there. So the first one. Oh. Time. Yeah, sorry. That was exciting, but then I realized I screwed up. All right, this is the real roll. <laughs> it wasn't a crit. It wasn't a natural. You roll but, a 20. But, now roll your damage. Okay. But I say, I'm pretty sure I still hit it. And it's just a 1d4 plus... What is the plus since I'm level 1? Strength mod? Strength. Uh, is that... Okay. Is that, right? is that a d4 plus a... Th plus 3? Seems like a lot. Well, if your strength is 16, then it's a 3. Yeah, I guess so. Um, cool. I guess it's not that much. As you take uh, your your table leg and you you take a crack at the door, you notice that it sprouts fangs Shit. and it starts to laugh at you back immediately as you hit. Um, did I did I do any noticeable damage? Oh to no, this no, you thing? did. You did some damage. You can see some of the some of the uh, skin start to come off the door to, to the floor. I mean, off the door except going to the floor. I'm gonna. It's gonna roll mm. to hit you, Matt. It misses as its fangs. It seems like the fangs you you saw it coming. Cause it like locked out kind of slowly and formed to mm, go out and attack like you. Morphed out. And you just kind of step back a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay Flesh Lord. I'm gonna ask. Uh, one second. One second. I gotta turn down the music a little bit. It's okay. Oh yeah. That's on. There we go. Watch together. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask the cleric to cast that sanctuary spell on me from the scroll. It comes around to his turn, and then I will step up and I will I will bash the shit out of this thing. 
So it's sanctuary, just so you know. Sanctuary, you can't attack when um you're in sanctuary. It negates oh. the effect of it. Sanctuary is like a get out of jail free card. Like, oh, yeah. oh, I can't, okay. I can't attack. Um. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. I got. Um. Let me, let me, give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, okay, that. um, in that case, what I'll do, I will still ask him to, to cast Sanctuary on me, and I'm going to attempt to grapple the creature. Mm. It says the subject cannot attack without breaking the spell, but may use non-attack spells or otherwise act. Well, grappling isn't an attack, though, is it? Uh, I feel like that would be aggressive. Don't you think so, Matt, or no? It's aggressive, but it is, but it is not an attack. That well, my yes. thing is, is that you use your CMB, which factors in your strength and your attack roll. Could he do it just with a straight strength roll? No. -uh. No. Because it's a maneuver, but I'm not actually damaging anything. Can't remember the, the actual rules, Pathfinder, because I know in 5e it's stupid, and you have to like be proficient in grappling or something. Yeah, there are melee attacks because they get bonuses. You get the bonus for flanking. So I just rolled it, and it said this, and it's saying it's an attack. I'm looking it up right <clears> now. <throat> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to kill your vibe, man. I promise you. No, 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 no. I get it. I just thought I, I was just trying to see where I could go with it, because I was gonna, I was basically gonna grapple it and force it to only be able to attack me while he beat the hell out of it. <laughs> ah, nice. <clears throat> um, in that case, I'll just beat the hell out of it then. <laughs> ba -ba -ba bam So that one, seven damage. Nice. Okay. And then that one's four. So you take chunks of the wall out and you hear it moaning in pain, still saying the same thing. I'm just, I don't feel like things that laugh at me. Okay. And now, that's my turn. Now it's the cleric's turn. What do you want the cleric to do? Um, okay. let's see. Let me let me look at the cleric stuff. Uh, let's see. Would he be able to squeeze next to us and bleeding touch the wall? No, he would have to. They backed up. No. As okay. You, okay. You can hear. Can you, can you hear the change in the music with the 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 scoring me of the wall? Yeah. Okay. Um. In that case, is the wall evil? He detects evil. Yep. Nice. Okay. Um. In that case, I will have him. Um. Is he able to get an idea of what the what the does the wall seem to have any like? Is it looking at either one of us, or is it like doing anything that would in, that would give us an idea of what it might attack? Can um, I make a roll on it? He's the 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 eyes is like looking, kind of the eyes will run at you two both at both of you two. Okay. Um. God, because he only gets so many spells per day, and he doesn't really have anything else. Um, I'm actually just going to have him hold action for now. Okay. Now it's Matt's turn. Great. Uh, I'm just going to beat on it again with my table leg. Is the cleric like with any weapons? Nope. Not even. Oh, no. He's got the lash. Not even, not even simple weapons? Oh, oh, I, oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you asked if he have any. I'm not sure what he's familiar with, what, what they have. It should be all simple weapons. If it's a cleric, I think it's all. And then maybe... Yeah, just all simple weapons, I think. 
Okay, uh, I'll have to. Well, I'll we'll have to figure out something for him after this. It's simple weapons. Yep, simple weapons: light armor, medium armor, shields, except higher shields. Okay, you hit. Yeah. You hit. I believe I hit. Roll your damage. Boom. Seven. Okay, so that's four and seven. That's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then you rolled six. 19, 20, 22, 23. Okay. Um. Now it's my turn. Okay. I'm attacking Matthew again. Wow, crit. I'm gonna confirm. Ooh. Um, do I, is a 14 beat your AC? It does. Roll. 1d8. 6. 1d8. Oh, 9 damage. The wall lunges out and attacks you. You hear oh. the, you hear like a, a screeching and a biting into your flesh. Oh. How how fucked up do you look right now? I look pretty. F I'm pretty ragged. I'm I'm probably bloodied. Okay. If are we still using that term, Jeremy? Is that inappropriate? Not nah, your turn, Flesh Lord. Ba ba bam! Wow, how'd you do eleven damage? Um, it's a D8, it's a D8 plus three. Wow, you guys pretty. So, at that, you destroy the door, and you hear one last time. Can we tell, can we make out anything? It's like any actual words? Yeah, you can't hear that? I mean, like, I, I'm not sure if it was meant to be, like, vague. Or if you can tell me what he's actually saying, like, well, I couldn't quite make it. Oh, it's just saying, like, oh, he's, hey, saying, buddy, he's huh? saying that what what have I become? Oh, gotcha. okay. Jeremy, I can't find it. When do I get arcane strike? That's second level, I think. Yeah. I thought you got it as a first level spell. I can't remember. Oh, well, in that case, I should have been using that. Whoops! Okay. I was trying to like. So um, as you, yep. Our cleric is gonna go ahead and heal you. Oh, amazing! Uh, do I need to roll for my own heal? No, no he's got to roll a D8 plus. Oh, one. he rolled it. D8 plus okay. one. He needs, no, he's got to roll D8 plus one. Is he using the scroll? No, he's using the cure lot wounds. Oh, he's got the actual spell. So you hear you heal five. Oh, beautiful. I'm still a long way from. And that's his cure lot. That's his what one else, spell. But... How many spells does he has? Does he have left? Uh, um, according to the character, so he gets three per day. A oh, cure lot wounds. Oh no! Yeah, or total. three, three, three first level spells. And how many does he know right now? Um, currently with his domains, it says he knows five. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. He should know. You said you gave him. You said you gave him bless, command, and cure light wounds. Um, he has cause fear, cure light wounds, bless, protection from evil, and detect undead. He's in the middle building. And he gets, he gets one level one spell per day and one domain spell. We'll look all this See, up. I don't know why it's, we'll know why it's saying in, in the character mancer that he gets two. Oh no no no. Okay okay. Sorry sorry sorry. It, um it, no. Yeah, it says he's get. What the hell? No no no. It says spells per day. He gets one plus one at first level. Wait, what the hell does that mean? You get so a cleric gains one domain spell for each spell each for each level. A cleric she can cast from first on. A cleric gets one domain spell slot for each level. So that means you only get. 
So each day a cleric can prepare one of one of the spells from her two domains in that slot. Okay, okay, okay. So that means... Okay, well, Cure Light Wounds, I'm going to go ahead and call it now, is always the one that she does instead of Cause Fear. Okay. Uh, or he does. And he... Okay, so that's the one, and that's the one that he used. Mm -hmm. So can he only cast that domain spell once per day? Um, yeah, what's his uh, wisdom? It's uh, 15. So that means he gets an extra cast of a uh, of level one spell, so that means he knows <sighs> spells prepare spells. So you know, I don't know how many spells she knows. I think you just know. Yeah, you cast. You gotta prepare and cast any spell in the care list, provided she can cast spells up, but she must be choose which spells to prepare. So which spells do you choose to prepare the day for him? And how many how many spells can he prepare per day? Um two regular and then one domain spell, I believe. Uh detect undead, protection from evil, and cure light wounds. Okay, got you. Okay, now that's done. So as you you know, you know continue y'all continue to the hallway I guess now. So as okay. you, so as you continue in the hallway. Um, actually, before we do that, um, I'm gonna have him uh, put his. I'm gonna ask if he can put his religious symbol on the door, or on the wall, or wherever the eyeball. Yeah. Is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He does that. And i and just like say a prayer and bless the air like. Like, just kind of, like, generally sanctify the area. To the best of his ability. So this area, um, he does that. He does his ink, he does his prayers. So and I'll give him a dagger, since we do, we did have an extra dagger the other day. That's true, yeah. Matisse not there. As you walk into this room, you kind you start to see... More of uh, the white, the white flooring that kind of jets out. The white tile, excuse me. You see spiderweb cracks line the walls of this cathedral-like hall. You see a very prominent oval desk, faces, staunch double doors to the south. The thunder lets out a loud roar as you continue to look around the room you see hard benches and portraits of somber doctors line the wall As and you, i'm sorry what are these things um you see those are stairs but you see they've collapsed and rubbles there now okay to sorry to your Excuse me, sorry. So you, you, rubble has crushed the upper flights, blocking passageways. You see lofty windows, but they're gridded by bars. Reveal an ever so yellow mist seething, trying to wiggle its room. Excuse me, wiggle its way in through the cracks. There right. should be uh, there should be signs somewhere out here that give us that like give a general idea of what's in what direction. Shouldn't there be? You don't see any signs. Hmm. And this is completely barred, or does it look like we can move some debris, or have the, have the structural integrity of the stairs just given up? You think that it would take days to move those stairs? Hmm. All right. Well, the stairs are not an option. And we wouldn't, be able to, we wouldn't be able to climb over it. No, it's like to the to the ceiling. I wonder where all these rocks came from. Well, this, well, I didn't have, I didn't have, uh, it's, it's just like... I know, I know, I'm just, I'm just muttering in character. You see, you see a number of paths leading the way, you see a way south, a way north, and then you see a door to the north, east, and then a, a door to the southeast. Should, should we try these doors here in our muted community? You see this I have a feeling they're not going to take anything, I mean, they're not going to take us anywhere but outside. 
Let me look. I'm going to investigate this door just to get a closer look. Is that the one you said we saw the mist kind of seeping in through? Yeah, through the windows, yep. So, I mean, I guess I, that's what I see, yeah. Mist, and it's coming well, in. Can, I, well, roll, I mean, you got, well, roll for your um, roll for your perception. Perception. Where is it? As you cup your ear to the door, you hear what seems to be like the faint churning of a stomach. Mm. You can hear gurgles and the roar of what seems to be like the rolling of a stomach. You hear acid start to drip. And as you listen Thanks. closely, you see the sound of of um of well, how would I describe this? You see sounds of I see sounds. You see sounds. Excuse me. You hear sounds of um, <laughs> of like um how do I say of sizzling flesh? There we go. Oof. Is it the rain? Acid rain on on like the ground or something, or is it actual flesh? Oh, you don't know. That's not with a twelve, sir. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to Flashlord and tell him I saw, and that I don't think that's gonna take us anywhere. This door over here. Um, anything seem strange about it? Nope. I'll pop it open. So, While he's doing that. So as oh, sorry, you man. as you pop open the door, you notice that it's blocked by something. You try to it opens inward. You notice that it's like blocked. Um. How strong does the door look? I mean, it's like a... About as strong as the other ones you saw. Okay. Mm. In that case, I'll continue around the hall, and... I guess I noticed this door here. That mm -hmm. probably leads to a similar room. I guess I'll try that one. Before he goes in, Jeremy, uh, I'm going to linger out here. Is there anything on this table? Is there anything on it? Or is it just clear? The table seems, seems, sorry. I could do a, I could do a check for that too. Definitely. You just see brochures of the oh. asylum, small brochures. Um, you, you see, um, a couple of writing utensils, you know, scattered papers and a, of course, a small candle. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the candle. And uh, what's the name on the brochure of this? So oh. it says Briarstone. Briarstone. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna catch up to Slash Lord. Say maybe it'll be useful for someone that I have this candle. You wanna stick it in your pack? Y'all both see in dark? Yeah, I've got dark vision. I, I do not have dark vision. Uh, in that case, you might want this candle. <laughs> so oh, no, 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 wait. Sorry, my Eidolon does have dark vision. I'm sorry. My Eidolon... Oh, so it's only, it's only in this form, then. So, you see this room is partially collapsed. Most of the buckets, mops, and feather dusters are on the ground here. A portion of the western wall has fallen away. Mm. Does it look like we could climb into the? And does it look like we could climb into that room? Um. Yeah, you can. You walk up there. You see a gruesome sight in the room before you. So much ketchup, my god. You see, <laughs> you see long desks, several chairs, sideboards, and numerous once stately landscapes painting barricading the door of this somber conference room. You see a toppled wall, like you're standing on top of a wall, but what's weird, but what's even more out of order is you see three bodies 
laying on the ground here. You notice that all of the bodies have a bag on their head with multiple stab wounds. Excuse me, six bodies lie in the room. And if you want to make a heal check, you can make a heal check to see how they died. Yeah, I would like to check them out. I'm going to look from that on my character sheet. I would like to uh, search the bodies for anything we can use. What? Why can I find... The Flesh Lord, what is 17? You notice as you, uh, you, you find one of the orderlies... What you got wearing a suit of makeshift padded armor. You also find a golden ring on one of the um, one of the the orderlies, and you see uh, one of the other orderlies was was wielding a sap. Sap. Well, I don't think we have anything we can really do with the sap. Um, what's the stats on the armor? I, uh, the cleric should be able to wear that. Padded armor. Plus one armor bonus, max deck bonus, plus eight, it weighs ten pounds. He still can go thirty feet, so he gets an armor bonus of plus one. Add that to him. Okay, dope. So with a perception check at 17, you also notice that there is an odd um, fungus that's been growing in the room. Is it in the bodies also, or you know, it's like Sorry, it's, like it's all it's all around the room, like it's in the mm -hmm. corners, um, it's on some of the ceiling. It's um, you know, detect magic, detect poison. Um. It doesn't seem magical, uh, so, but it's in, so, this, so we got some fungus in this area, and that area. Is it poisonous? So as your character moves, uh, to, to him, your character moves up, sorry. You don't, it doesn't seem, do you have to take poison? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to slow um, our, our, our cleric does. So, as you move up to more, to more inside the room, you do notice that the fungus kind of looks poisonous. Mm. What's wrong? Um, can we stay back? Uh, does detect poison give you an idea of how poisonous it is? He just walked by me. He looked at the generator. I'm looking. I have a question when you have a sec. He knows that it's, he seems that it's kind of poisonous. You might, he says, you might could use it for a makeshift weapon, but he says it, there could be some, some failure in it and, um, and not extracting it the correct way. Um, in that case, what, sorry, in that case, what <laughs> I'm going to do, because we have it from earlier, let's see, where is it? I could have sworn that we picked up some kind of. I, I could have sworn that we picked up like a like an empty container. Y'all do have it. Yeah. Um. How big is it? I mean, it's it's on the ceiling. You can make a dex check to not um to not poison yourself. That's fair. Okay. So with a dexterity check, you start to scoop. A little bit of the fungus out, but at that time, it starts to move. 
and it starts to animate on the wall, slamming down on top of you. Ouchers. Wow. Yes. Um, does a 11, does a 15 hit your AC, Flesh Lord? Um, it meets my AC. I don't know how it works with AC. Does meets meet it beat on AC? Yeah, meets it, beats it. It's going to do... Okay. Uh... Six damage, roll a four to save. Okay. Um, the Flesh Lord feels nothing. And if you can roll some of those saves secretly... So there's not a lot of metagaming. You let me know. I got Flesh Lord. I guess we could whisper him. Is that how you want to do it? Okay. So everyone roll initiative. Everyone roll initiative. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure I click my little character here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to add him a turn. Interesting. Negative two AC. Oh, that's going to be terrible. Wow. My, play, my initiative is about to be horrible. 13. So I go last. For the Jargon roll. Okay. So, he rolled a 19. So Good that's the him. order. Um, Jargon, on Jugulian, and the Flesh Lord. Restraint and then the mold. Uh, are you on the ground, Flesh Lord, or are you still surviving? Um, I'm oh, I'm fine. You healed that much ever the last night? Yeah. Um, let's see. After taking six, I'm at. I still got seven health, so I still have my, I have my character's health still. So that. What's your summoner? What, what, what you can whisper? What? So your summoner um, HP stacks with your characters. Yeah, um, the Elon is worn when it's worn at its temporary HP, and I can sacrifice my own HP in order to keep it out. Hmm. Nice. Okay. So, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm just looking. Uh. So, you're, will you whisper your summoner's HP to me? Uh, yeah. And then you whisper me your your Adelon. So it, it how, how do I how do I whisper things to you? You just doing Discord. Slash, slash W. If you do slash W and then you type in uh, just okay. Type so, in here. so anyway, the, so the mole so the mole does that. No no harm no foul. Um, so now it is um, your cleric's turn. I'm not too concerned about this time. What was your cleric doing this situation? Um. And the room's dark. And he all he can see is like I think a candle is. Oh, yes. we have a lan we have a lantern. I don't know. Are who we has not able to use it? Yeah, you have one if you. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I could just give him the. I could have just given him the lantern. Yeah, that's true. So he can see. Yeah, yeah, so he can fair. see inside this room. That's fair. That's fair. Um. Let's see. I will. I'm not really sure what to have him do. Um, I'm gonna have him cast less. Own. Um. It says each ally, so bless just gets everybody, I guess. Okay, so everyone gets a plus oh, wow. one attack saves. Cool. Um, plus one on uh, attack rolls and saving throws. And that. Or saving cool. throws against fear effects. One minute per level, so at least for six rounds. Plus one attack rolls. Okay, cool, cool. He blesses, and that's his blessed spell done. No, it's a, it's a, it, a, mi a minute per level is. Um, six, that's ten rounds. Ten rounds, excuse me. Yes, sir. Okay. Pretty good. And I guess I will. I guess, um, gosh. How big is this thing? It's pretty large. So it, so it takes over two squares. 
The four um, squares. I will go ahead. You know what? I'll 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 give it the I'll give it the full attack. Let's go for it. So. You let your, your Adelon lets back a devastating claw attack. It seems that every hit the Adelon does is it's pulling, it's pulling um flesh. Uh, pu I'm sorry, pulling mold and debris and blood and pieces of other uh, things that engulfs flesh away. Um, have your Adelon roll a say a four two save for me. Uh, give me just one sec. music okay I got that so now it is restraints turn great so I just saw this thing drop out of the ceiling on, mm -hmm. on the flesh lord and he started wailing oh, it's pretty large he started wailing on it um will I be leaving oh, I can pass through a character never mind mm -hmm. uh can I reach him where I'm currently standing. Yeah, you can. Or is it? Okay. In which case, I'm going to do pretty much the only thing I can do right now. Try to whack at him with my table leg. So here goes. Oh, let's mess it up. Oh man. I'm gonna say the corner of the room got in my way. So, um, as you try to reach over him with the table leg, you do miss. Wow. Now, That's it, it. now it's the slime's turn. I'm going to. Uh, DC. Uh, the creature tries to move onto both of you. Um, Yikes. Uh, Wait, it just, it just tries to move onto us? Well, I can't attack. He's going to move into all three of you. I need. Do we, do we get some kind of. You do. Give me a second. Okay. Um, I'm not leaving the squares. Oh, you're. Uh, give me yeah, a second. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So you know, I'm, I'm assuming can, it's something special to this that it can move on to things like yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you can you can try to attack the creature, but if you do, you can't make a reflex save to avoid being engulfed by him. Or you can make a reflex uh, save, but you don't get the attack opportunity. Um, I'll see. take the reflex save. Okay, roll your reflex save. Same, same. Sorry. Okay, so you second. move out of the way. I'll say you move out of the way, Cody. Juglar. Okay. Mm. I swear his name changes slightly every time. Juglin, excuse me. Juglin. Okay. Make a reflex. Yep, sorry. I just need to check something. I don't have anything that can help with that. Um. Great. Reflex save. Here we come. That's good. Okay. Juggling and restraint. Dang it, bro. Take five damage. I need two fortitude saves from both of y'all. Okay. Wait, two fortitude saves? I mean, one apiece, excuse me. Okay. I'm sorry. My apologies. Dang. Sorry, I don't have a lot of monitors, apparently. You sound so disappointed that you're not murdering us. No, no, I'm fine. 
<laughs> the thing about Jeremy is he's really good at like he's like I'm gonna build your character up and I want you to be as strong as you can be and that's awesome that's exciting and then I'm just gonna give you something really scary to fight. No, I made this for the four players that just got added in here. I thought it was cool because if you remember Matt, this wasn't in the last campaign. That's true. Um, so you both or we just didn't find it. You both make you both make you know what it doesn't matter. You see this <laughs> you see this all this the flesh. Uh, mold and fun got fungus all over you and some gets in your eye your mouth but you're just shaking it off now is juggling on the ground juggling he's on the ground isn't he um you never said he was on the ground no but he's on the ground as in he is hurt really bad because of his hp no no he's fine okay so this he didn't is get only, he only dealt, you only dealt five damage to him i know but remember he had damage done to him at the last session from what? Um, from being tortured. Oh yeah, what did he, he didn't start with? You know what? Did I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't clarify, so I'm not gonna do that. My apology. That's my fault. He, he would have. Yeah, he would have got something for a rest. I hope. Yeah, he would have got. It's fine. It's, it's his new. It's his new character. I'm not trying to kill his character off exactly today. Maybe tomorrow. So that's <laughs> that round. Now it's now it's Juggling's turn, as he's engulfed. Now, if you're engulfed, he's pinned. He's in danger of suffocating, and he's trapped in the creature's body. Hmm. Um. What kind of check would it be to get out? He can make a. Um, he cannot. He cannot move, and he's denied his dexterity bonus. He takes a negative four to his AC. He can. He is limited to actually take. He can. He can attempt to free himself, which is a combat maneuver check, or he can do a escape artist check. He's going to hold action until after my turn. Okay, okay. That's smart. That's smart. Now it is the Flesh Lord's turn. I am going to assault this thing. Okay. So nice. as So as the Flesh Lord continues to rake itself into the mold. He uh, he actually takes and 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 uh, he takes the creature, and as he claws, he claws the creature in two. Oh, nice! And you I see, hope. and you see the you see the the mold wither around restraint and juggling. Beautiful. Are they still engulfed? They have stuff on them. No, the creature has um. Is dissipated. Good stuff. Very good stuff. I was just about to. I was like looking. I have a special ability that was gonna give me a bonus to suffocation. I was like, I've never used that before. Didn't think I was gonna have to. Um. I have another. I have an idea. I'm gonna. So wait, is combat still going? The combat cyber would. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna ask Juglin if he can purify food and drink all over the fungus. Ooh. Because according to what it says, um, it it makes even poisonous things edible. Smart. What I thought of that. Yeah, I'm just gonna type that in. I'm just trying to see. Uh, one cubic feet per level. Let me see how much this thing weighs. Mm, so hard. Um, it's a it's a it's a zero level spell. So I mean, if it took him, if it took him a whole minute, I mean. Oh, it, it, oh I see. So now, um, I can, I can give, yeah, you purify, you purify, but it's on the ground though. What does that have to do with it? It's just on the ground. You've got all this mold on the ground. Okay. I scoop a bunch of the mold onto one of the small tables in the room using my hands 
<laughs> He's got a lot of hands. A lot of mold. And then, let's see. We have a contain. We have contain. We have a container of some sort. I know. I'm trying to figure out what the hell kind of container it was. I thought I wrote it down. We. Yeah, I actually don't think I wrote it down either. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I, I'll. I'll get more. I'll get even more ridiculous with this. I'm gonna lay a wool blanket down on the floor and and pile mold into it, and then I'm gonna tie it up in a bindle. <laughs> oh yeah, we have those blankets. Uh, if you don't already. Just said, sir. It's like half reading. Yeah. And I will consume one piece of the mold. I will just take a, a little. I'll take a little couple fingerfuls, and I'll just eat it right then and there. Oh, how do you do that? I eat bodies. <laughs> like, oh, that was a character. Is not afraid of anything. <laughs> Wait, you eat bodies? So I didn't know that. Oh well. That um, you, 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 you have literally watched me like cut people's fingers off and eat them. Oh, did I? Uh, that might have been right before I came in last. Oh uh, yeah, you might have been that, unconscious when that yeah, happened. That makes sense, though. Okay. So uh, did anything happen to me when I eat part of the mold? Nope. Okay, so um, assuming nothing happens on the way of doing it, um, I take my bindle full of edible mold, <laughs> and I take it and I bring it back to the kitchen where I brought the rats. Okay. And I give it to them and tell them that this is edible. Um, I tell them to cook it immediately. <laughs> yeah, we don't have refrigeration, do we? I suppose we didn't have any trouble passing back no, you through didn't. the... Okay. You, just see, you just see the doors there. Actually, Captain Vaskin uh, is there, kind of, because the door is open now. This is a blank spot. Oh, yeah. There's no, door, there's no door here now. So he tells you, as you walk by his house, there's no door here. If you can find anything, or maybe move that table in this direction. And I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and yeah. do that. Let's, okay. I was, yeah. So I'm gonna put. I'll go ahead and kind of cheese that right there, and we'll have the table kind of moved in this area. So there you go. That's a that's one. That's one large wool blanket full of fungus that they can cook and eat right then and there. Okay. True. So I'll say your characters have made it across the table again. And you're here. What does the group want to do now? So, um, there's more doors we, over there. Yeah, we should go out. back and explore some more. Okay, yeah, go. I'm here. Um, real quick, I, I'm going to cast Rejuvenate Eidolon on myself. Okay. So I have, roll your HP. Seven. Good roll. Oh, good stuff. Nice. Very nice. I guess I'll go... Does Do these doors out here go outside, does it seem like? No. Nope, the, the yeah. I was about to say, okay. sorry, I thought it was the other door. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll open them up. Well, if we ride behind them. Ain't no starving on my watch, mister. Flesh Lord giveth. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you so you enter in the room? Yeah. Okay, let me read you let me read you what I'm gonna say now. Although it has been plucked from the halls of some warm country estate. This room is filled with very inviting furniture. Detect magic. You see, a, <laughs> I don't a, trust that. A hearth ready for a fire. You do detect magic in a room. Artwork populated by picnicking families, and a mansion-shaped cage with colorful taxidermic birds inside. We're just gonna go ahead and large, try and how large, magic that is. Large windows might have once looked over colorful flower beds, but now show only yellow mist. You see a battered corpse is impaled on the antlers of a stuffed elk head hmm. hung above the earth. You also see a body. So I'll move this one here. You see it's like he's over the hearth. Then you see a body laying on the ground 
here. You also hear the faint there? Hold up. This is the antlers. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to find. Oops, sorry. You can hear. Telephone? Is that what we heard? Oh. You hear birds as you enter the room. Is there also a telephone? I, I yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing know, a telephone. But you don't know what that is. You hear oh, a okay. chime. Yeah, we don't know it's a telephone. You hear, yeah, yeah. you see. You see two, the the, the the things that are hung in the antlers is a, mm -hmm. it's like they're wearing a stained yellow robe and tattered yellow veils. You, you see that, you see the, that in here. You see... The body? Yes, what, yeah, you see that. You also, you hear the same birds. Um, am I able to figure out what kind of magic this is with that arcana check? Oh, no. Not with that check. <laughs> not with a 24? Well, it doesn't pertain to this. I'm sorry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Not with the roll, with the check. Okay. okay. Just... Yeah, you see, like I said, I, you, I gave you more information. You don't see, not not with the, um... Yeah. Not with the 9. I don't, I don't see all this. <laughs> not with nine. Um, okay, so in which case... I do see the bodies, though. I, and I realize Jurgen, now I don't know. Jurgen, Jurgen is in the back, remember? So, like, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, whatever the name is. Jurgen. Jurgen? Um, uh, I'll tell him to be ready, and I will make my way towards the first corpse. Okay. Yeah. So, describe your actions or whatnot. I walk briskly across the room to the corpse and, and begin inspecting it while check. keeping... And I will keep a rough eye on the rest on the on the room. I'll like I'm not gonna just completely envelop myself in this. So as you look, Ooh. you begin to hear those same birds chirp. At that one moment, <laughs> make a will save. Your body starts to be lifted from the ground. And you start to go to the ceiling. At an audible moment, the birds the bird sounds come into a shrill, mechanical sounding voice. I mean a creature. And it's it's like ear piercing. At that moment, you're spinned ten more feet in the air, and then you're slammed down onto the ground. Chest first. Six two damage being dealt to you. I'm gonna make it! Um, okay, now my question for you is, uh, what did Restraint see? Yes. <laughs> that's my question. That's what, that's what Restraint saw. He saw that. I just saw him get floated into the air yes. and get slammed down. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at him and go, what? what happened? What did you do? He's still on the ground, but might, might, might add you. Do, you. do you need some help? Can I help you up? Do I hear the bird sounds also? Yep, um, yep. I'm gonna hand him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stand up and hand restraint those man, though that chain manacles, and tell him neither one of us needs to go up again. Needs to go up. Uh, Be ready. Yeah. Be ready. Be ready to pull. Can I tell where the bird sounds are coming from? Yeah, from the from the tax number bird cage here. The tax number bird cage. Okay. Are but they're taxidermy birds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can tell that they're making sound, but they're not moving. No. Nope. Right. All but right. To, but to but to the flesh lord, they're moving. They're moving fiercely in the cage. 
Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna perception check the the bird cage and see what. God. Is the bird cage where the magic is emanating from? Um, no. The, actually, the magic is emanating from the dead bodies. No I'm kidding. Which we are distracted from now, I guess, since we got mm -hmm. rotated. Um, so I'm going to carefully, while holding on the chain, I'm going to tell them, I like, okay, be ready if I go up. I'm going to look at these birds. Yep. But I'm going to inspect them. Leon, do I see anything about the 23? About the birds? Anything about the birds or the. So as you, table, start, or? as you start to touch the bird cage and move around, you hear the same noise, but then you hear the clinking of some type of mechanical creature. Roll a wheel saver strength. Shit. <laughs> the same roll? As you start to be lifted in the air, your feet start, it's, it's like giving way out from under you. The Flesh Lord rolls a strength check of 12 to try to keep you down, but now the Flesh Lord hears the same noise again with that 12, and he starts to be lifted as well. I don't even get a save. You did. I counted a strength save as your save. Because you've already. Oh, that's failed. not. Wait, wait. You're counting my strength save as my will save now? Because no, no, no. Because you're you're moving with him. It's not a choice of will. Like he failed his 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 save. You grabbed on. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. But, okay. Since, but since you grabbed on, it's kind of like guilt by association. You're like. Shouldn't no. that be? Shouldn't that be a? Shouldn't that be a weight save? So you're to not, lift me. But that oh, I mean wait. that that is a strength save. That's what that is. Well, well, the strength save would be my ability to hold on to the chains. I get well. The haunt is lifting him up. So, so in that case, wouldn't I have? Wouldn't I let go of the chains because they'd have to lift yeah. my weight, not lift my strength? I mean, yeah. If you if you want to make, you know what? I'll let you make a deck save to see if you lift in time because that's how fast the haunt is. Dex or reflex? Well, it's the same. It's the same for me. Okay, so I'll let you beat it. So you see your friend, you see him being lifted up, and as you start to be lifted up, he is slammed down, taking six damage restraint. But at that time, at that time, you let go. Detect magic while this is happening. Does anything seem strange? Um, you have no, but you have juggling here to come in here. Let juggling make some knowledge rolls. I... <clears throat> what kind of knowledge rolls would he make? Religion. I have religion. Okay, we'll make, we'll make <laughs> I wish you would have said I have higher religion than him. Nice. <laughs> By the way, restraint is still on the floor. Yep. He is yep. not he standing says, up. You, you guess that what it seems like if you touch anything in the room the haunt activates. You think that the cause of the haunt is from the birdcage itself. And if that is destroyed, it might stop the haunt. But as you think about that, as you have that thought, the same paralyzing and shrill sound, you hear the birds activate again. Um, five foot steps slam the cage. Okay, roll. What what am I rolling? Wouldn't I just roll Attack. damage since it's since it's an inanimate object? You're sure, roll your damage. So it's so you're, that's you're really DA. rolling against hardness, but yeah, you're really rolling against hardness. That's why you roll an attack against inanimate objects. It's hardness is like it's AC. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's yeah. Let me see how much I put. Oh yeah, so you destroy the cage and you see a bunch of you see y'all see a bunch of birds have to fly out. But as you look back, you see the cave is destroyed, and you see those same taxidermic birds laying on the ground. Um, I'm gonna is, go the, is the magic still in the room? I mean, you see, you detect magic on the, 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 two, the two dead bodies. Yeah, they still have magic. Okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I didn't see any of this because I was still choking on the ground trying to stand up. So I'm gonna... Did I hear the, the commotion of the birds flying away? Yep. Or did they just... Okay. What was that? What What happened? 
I heard a bunch of birds flying, and, and those birds haven't moved. He's we're gonna, we're gonna, there's not a good explanation for what happened, but I have something I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my center of gravity real low, and I'm gonna touch the, I'm gonna touch the dead person on the forehead. Be careful. I'm not, I'm stepping back. I can't take another hit like that. And you're touching who, um, Cody? That guy. As you start to look around, you notice uh, an amulet. Um, around his neck. Yeah. Um, I guess would that be an arcane check to try and figure out what it is? Or take, look. take magic spellcraft check. Wasn't the same one. Oh, okay. Okay. Can, um, you've got those too, don't you? The flesh lord doesn't know what that is. I'm gonna mm, let me take a look. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just I'm just gonna look at it. Spellcraft. Oh wait, which were we rolling? Um, you notice know, so Strength knows that that is an amulet of natural armor. It oh, that sounds beautiful. Better. It will make it will make your skin tougher, he says. I uh, um, yeah, I I welcome restraint to it because my nat armor is already in effect. I'm about to say I think I could use that. Thank you. I'm gonna. What about what about the other gentleman? Does he have one too? Um, the other one, you see a mass. You see a, a really, really nice dagger, silver, a silver dagger. Um, in his in his pouch, like in his robe, and then on the other side of his robe, you notice he's got two potions. Um. Well, I guess on the dagger, I'll go ahead and. See if I can figure out what that is. Uh, you just noticed that it's a very well. It's, it's a pretty much. It's a masterwork silver dagger. Um, I will hold on to that because I might need that at some point. Dagger is too small a weapon for me anyway. Well, my character doesn't tend to need weapons like that, but if if I ever do, it would come in handy. If you ever, yeah. If you're ever not in. Wait, Adel, Adel, how do you say it? Adelon? Eidolon, yeah. Eidolon. Um, those, so we've searched both bodies. Oh, am I able to figure out what the potions are, or is that a check? What kind of check is that? A spellcraft check again. Okay. I'll let him try it first. Sorry, I'm trying to get this thing in here. That's what she said. Just kidding. You said there were some of them? Mm hmm So with that, you realize that they are both um, cure light wound potions. Good shit. Making a collection. Very nice. We're going to need that. So now we got two scrolls of cure light wounds and two potions. I'm uh, I'm I'm not doing so well. I don't know if we need to continue, um, or if we do, I need to maybe drink a potion. I mean, I can keep going, but if more booby traps, um, I'll, are give, I'll give you one of the potions, and I'll hand one of the scrolls off to uh, uh, the cleric. And ask if he can use it on you right now. Hmm. Scroll, let me see. What, I think I can just use a scroll. Um, since he has the spell, he should be able to. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Um. Maybe I wait to use it until we're in combat. I yeah, wasn't save, expecting save, to be. Save the potion. The scrolls are for when we're out of combat. Yeah, um, I wasn't expecting to be. Slammed in the floor. Yeah, I think you can just use a scroll. Yeah, because he has it. So he'll roll a 1d6 plus 1. 1d8, excuse me. 1d8 plus 1. So that's 5 so damage. Heal. Oh, so you can roll. Oh, no. It's fine. So 6, da so six HP for Matt. Oh, much, strength. Much, much better. I'm back to my bloodied state. <laughs> um, Is this a desk or a table? A table. 
Um, are there any cabinets or anything? Uh, no, it's like a standard cable. Excuse me, a standard table. No, I mean in the room in general. Um, no. Um, well, in that case, let's yeah, move on. Yeah, I think on. we're done here. Um, and of course, so do you see a I don't door? I didn't... There's a door to your right. There's a door to our right. Mm -hmm. oh. Where? Right here. Ooh. Or out of the room or in the room? Oh no, we're we're not just, we're not seeing it. The black cut it off. Yeah, we we don't have we don't have vision there. There we go. Um, I guess I'll open that door. Yeah, let's check. So as you open the door, you see a rustic flagstone creates a path through a bed of wilted flowers and shrubs. The foliage shriveled as if drowned by the surrounding sea of dense yellow fog. Close the door, close the door, close the door. <laughs> through the dent, you, but it has a little hole, it has a little people. Through the natural mist, muffles every motion, a sound like the flapping of giant wings splits through the fog, causing it to swirl as a, as a seeking escape. At that time, you hear, you heard, just, you heard just very slight flapping. Yeah, I closed the door out of there. Well, so he said it had a peephole, so we're just not going to open that door and we're going to leave. Yeah. Can you hear that? I... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's like, let's try this door on the left up here. Okay. So as you go up, here you open the door. Let me get my flavor text down right mm -hmm. You see high asylum walls as you open the door. You notice that again, it's that same yellow mist. Close you the door. See, you see a spacious courtyard <laughs> garden. <laughs> Jeremy's like, flavor, what flavor? <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't have time to take in all that shit. That's time that the mist can get in. <laughs> this is true. Because the DM will do that too. They'd be like, oh, you open the door. Hello, so roll this door. door. Uh, okay, what do you want to do now? Other door. The door behind me. I'm going to try it. You open the door, you see uh, a hallway. You see more collapsed rubble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, since I'm already in that direction, I'm going to lead down. So the hallway just goes. Are there any doors off to the side? Keep on going. Oh, so there's no, I haven't passed anything. Okay. What now? Ooh. As you see more. Uh, sorry, let me move my map because I can't actually see it. Oh, so it's nothing, just, okay, I'm going to go to the end of this but, hallway. But um, as you go down to the end of the hallway, are you going down to the end of the hallway? Yeah. Yeah, as, I'm as you, as you go down to the end of the hallway, you can hear the faint sounds of like something like digging not digging but you, well, you can hear the faint sounds of rocks being removed hmm but nothing that I see right and it's no. coming from Does... do you want me to give you a perception check to say, can I tell what direction it's coming from like up ahead around yeah, the corner yeah it's just coming from it's just coming from this rubble this is a really <clears throat> dense rubble like it's super dense oh so like whatever we're walking on and maybe it's underneath whatever it's digging um, does Flesh Lord hear this, or do I need to tell him? Well, it's an empty hallway other than us. I'm sure I'm... I'm, I'm yeah. I'm sure it's like yeah. the, the only one of the only making sounds in this hallway. Every time I walk, I'm like, wait, shh. Crunch, crunch. No, shh. Um, okay. I'm going to move with caution and try to get up to where this next corner turns. It Ooh, does, by it the way... Doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't. We're at the end of the line. Yep, you're in the rubble now. Okay. By there were no there were no do doors in this hallway. Nope. That's not good. Hmm. By the way, since we're at a point, how long do we want to we want to play tonight? I think for me, ending a little early just as I work in the morning is okay. I mean, I'm happy to keep going for however long you guys want to keep going. Something Matthew then. Um if I might be I might better wind down tonight just because 
Well, I'm getting up extra early tomorrow, probably about six ish. That's cool. And, and uh, I'll end the uh, I'll end the session in the recording. Thanks to everybody who's checking out the videos through all this difficulty of switching players or whatnot. But eventually, we'll figure things out.